Hey everybody, it's me, Sai from Happy Accident Studios. I'm going on a little crafty trip and my friends are there. And what we tend to do is we make a little gift for, for each other and um, everybody kind of gets a little something from, from somebody. Um, and it's kind of like a little mini Christmas and I really enjoy doing that. So let's get started. Now, what I've done is I have worked out the measurements for paper to cover the Pringles can. So here they are. I've got 12 of them, strips of paper. Um, it's kind of, well, if you, if you want to get technical, it's 160 GSM, so it's a light card. But uh, it's white and it's ready to accept ink. So what I'm going to do is make a couple of backgrounds for you now, right in front of your faces. So, let's see, I know I'm gonna want one with neutrals. I hope you can still hear me. Am I coming through all right? Um, I want to use neutrals and sort of browns for this one. I am using Distress Ink, because it's fun. There we go, what's that? Yeah, I need to keep it light because I'm going to be stamping on top of it. So I think this will be enough. This is just um, a surface that is not going to absorb liquid. Um, it's my messy mat. I have two of them. Um, I don't, I mean, I do actually clean these, but uh, I think I waited too long a couple times. So it's a real mess. But what I'm going to do with this messy mat is I'm just going to rub some of the ink onto it. I am using, for the record, Scattered Straw, Tea Dye, and Vintage Photo. Don't know what's going to happen there. Let's find out. I think I want more Scattered Straw. Because that, that Vintage Photo is quite dark, I didn't realize. Okay, so the ink has been splodged. Now I'm going to mist with water. This really livens up the ink. Um, this is one of my favorite inks, distress inks. Um, they're crazy. I don't actually know what they're all about, but uh, they really come to life when you add water to them. And I'm just going to plop this paper down into it and then peel it up. And I've got kind of a, an interesting, I think I do want to go a little bit darker on the end here. I've got patches of color, basically. And just to, you know, just to be good, I'm going to dry this off now with my heat gun. This is not going to be very good for the plastic items that are in the path of the heat gun, but never mind. I'm here to dry water. And that's what I'm doing. So it's curling up. That's not my favorite thing because then it all tends to roll. But uh, this is what I'm doing anyway. I don't know if I want to go brown with any of the other projects I'm doing. So I might have to clean this mess up. Right now, at this point, if you want to go in again and add some more, you can do. And I'm gonna. So here we go. Got a little bit there. Um, maybe a little bit there. Cool. Okay. Just put my heat gun down in the path of a bottle of acetone. Not smart. Make sure if you're working with heat and electricity and things like that that you take the proper precautions. Now there's something else you can do with this lovely ink once it's been applied. And I'm going to show you that as well. I'm going to take my heat gun off and put it to the side so that I'm safe. Right. I'm going to take, this is getting proper messy now. Okay, I'm going to take some water. I'm going to put it in my hand. And then I'm going to drip. I'm just going to drip it onto the card. And I'm going to leave it there for a little while. And I'm going to take some paper towel, and just while I'm waiting, I'm going to clean this up. 
it's sad that I don't want to make any more because um, I've got plenty pulled here to make my uh, to make my ink splat with. But I just I'm moving on. I'm moving to a different color, so I've got to clean it up. Paper towels are your friend. I'm not going to show you a dirty brown paper towel, gross. But the whole idea of this is to make it look old and probably a bit damaged. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another bit of paper towel and I'm going to blot the ink, uh, the, the water droplets off. Have a look at this. It just looks proper speckled and damaged and distressed. And that is exactly what I'm going for. So hooray, done it. I'm just gonna give it another hit with the heat gun because it is, it, there is wet here. It's still wet. It's, it's wet on the back, that's the problem. Oh, oh, ba -da -ba. Right, so I know which one this is for, so I've got, I've got little notes in my head, so I know exactly what I need to do with this one later, so I'm going to set that, ooh, still wet, can't believe it. Okay, I'm going to put this under my craft mat. Ooh, there's some other things under my craft mat. Okay, that's paper and card that I wanted to flatten. That's probably really well flattened by now. Hooray! I've got to put it somewhere so it stays flat. There it goes. Okay, color switch. Now, I'm doing something um, that requires a bit of a landscape on one of them. So I'm going to grab some peeled paint and some, ooh, peacock feathers might be too bright. Let's see what else I've got. I have broken china. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of draw with it, with the edge of the pad. There. Maybe give it a bit more there, I guess. Some some sky and then I'm gonna give it some green here they the two might mix together a bit I don't mind you know it's it's fine so let's see and just in case it runs off the edge I'll just pop a little vintage photo down here just in case give it a little bit natural look to it okay so here is my landscape here is the water going on all nice and floaty like I've even got some gaps there that might end up looking like clouds I don't know right here I go in goes the paper I'm gonna pick it up get that out of the way whoa okay quick Get it with the heat gun quick before it all rolls downhill. <laughs> it's getting flat now, very nice. Ooh, it's curling up. That means it's probably wet on the bottom. Let's get this. Yeah, it is. This isn't an exact science. If you're into exact sciences, this is definitely not something for you. Um, this is very... <laughs> yep. I'm having some trouble. But it does look a bit like a little hill, which is kind of nice, I guess. I'll turn it right side up. There you go. Looking pretty good. I'm not burning myself at all. Ow. Okay. Let's do just a little bit of the old brown just on the edge there. Have some dirt. 
Yeah. I'm just going to repeat myself. I am making backgrounds to decorate some Pringles tins for little uh, table gifts for a friend, kind of like a party favor type of thing. And I'm making each one different because, um, well, they're for different people. Um, okay, so that is the ink dried. Sorry, it's a bit off camera just for a minute because um, I need to get rid of this extra. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. Here it goes. I think I do need to make two like that, but I'm, I'll do it later. I'll, I'll do another one later. This is actually quite a lot of fun. Right. Well, I'm having fun anyway. Um, right. So next thing I'm going to... Oh, it does look like clouds. I've been really lucky there. But I'm going to make this one all, all drippy as well. I'm going to add some dribbles to this one. There we go. And I'm going to get something else out, I think. Yeah, I'm going to try something else. Right, okay. I'm going to try adding a pattern to the print. So, I think next I'm going to use the chevron stencil from in here. Now I use the small stencils and they're only six by six. This one's from Stamposaurus and um, I'm going to need to repeat my design. So I'm going to have to, it's going to be a bit weird, but weird is part of the job when you're here at Happy Accident Studios, right? I am going to put the stencil down on half of my card. I have some temporary adhesive on it, which looks like it might not be totally sticking. Um, all right, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to blot the water off of this. And I'm going to show you the detail again of the, um, the speckles. It just, for some reason, it just reawakens it, and it, the, it's only water. That's all it is. Oh, hello. Yes, I am reading chat. Hi, Clary Bug. I'm glad you didn't miss me this time. Oh, yeah, I'm looking down so much. I'm so new to this, and I don't do it often enough, so I'm not in the habit of, like, looking up. But I'm so glad that you're here, and I know there's someone else here, and I don't know who it is because they haven't spoken up. But hello. To whoever you are, I'm so glad to have company while I'm doing this. Right, so that's the second one. I will just dry it off again. This is way too much fun, you know. I like making distress ink backgrounds, and I hadn't done it for such a long time. And a friend of mine um, said, you know, oh, I've just been and done a master class basically on a bunch of distress ink techniques and I brought my inks out to hers at the weekend and I just sort of revived my interest in it. So that's a bit curly, so I'm going to put it underneath my craft mat again along with the previous one, which you may not have seen, so here it is. I made like a brown one and it looks like totally distressed and old and stuff. I will, I am going to try and stream more often and I really need to set myself up with, um, with an actual like, um, time, time frame to do this in so that you know when to catch me. Thing is, sometimes I might pop in around lunchtime, English time, and sometimes I might pop in in the early evenings or late. So I really don't know. Um, the best thing you can do is just click that heart button and follow me and make sure your notifications are turned on. You'll get a lovely text message or an email or something. I think it's an email. It all like goes together into one thing for me because I, I look at all of that on my phone. So I can't remember if it's a text or an email. It's probably an email though. I have a face cam, but you don't want to see this today. Trust me. My hair is a complete mess. And um, I'm no oil painting, <laughs> but I will. I promise this weekend I will come on the proper face cam as well. Look, do you want to you want to get scared? I'm reaching over to my computer. I'll scare you. 
with my horrible face cam. Actually, I'll mix it. <laughs> How scary am I? <laughs> but anyway, that's me, my terrible, horrible hair. And ah, look at this background. This is my mess. This is my shelves of, of craftiness. And not all of them, I've got to say. Right, uh, back to the next thingy, because I want to see if this works. And um, I have to pick my husband up from work in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to switch back so that I don't get all um, all self-conscious and stuff. But I'm going to put makeup on next time. <laughs> and I might feel all right about having the face cam more on. But here I am anyway. Um, let's do more ink. I quite like this one. That's a new one that I just bought called Peacock Feathers, and it mixes really well with this mustard seed. Um, and it just comes out as the most gorgeous thing. Actually, also, where is it? I'm reaching down to the side, so you probably can't hear me. Uh, here we go. Picked raspberry. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to do that. I like these two together. So let's mix it. Right. Ooh. I can choose which of these ends up on the bottom later, but for now. And they do mix together quite nicely. It's water time, so let's remove the electricity. Squirt. Now I love this sprayer, it's really fine, and uh, it's actually an old Airwick. Um, aqua essences spray bottle and uh, it's got this whole mechanism thing and it's a really fine mist air freshener right well, let's pop that down then see what happens it it didn't do the paper it didn't go on the paper it just went on the stencil I'm pushing it really hard to see if it maybe will absorb something it sort of doesn't, but it sort of does. Okay, I'm taking it off. Ah, interesting, but not enough for me. So I'm going to pop it on here now that I've actually sort of done something to it. There we go. There we go. Whoop, a little bit more on there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This is going to be kind of fun, actually. I just had an idea. But first, it's drying time. This is interesting. It's still got some white bits on it. That's normally not acceptable in my world. Uh, oh well, we'll leave it, see what happens. I'll just roll with it. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put this back on. If you can hear that voice in the background, that's actually my son. <laughs> He's got a crazy voice. Oh yeah, the thing I was going to do with it, I totally forgot between like that last second and now. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Clary. Right, here you go. I'm just going to read the bits. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Lurker or Miss Lurker for, for exposing yourself earlier. Not like that, but, you know. Right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold this down like this. I'm just going to spray through it a little bit. And I'm going to do the same over here. Just move it really, really quick. And I'm going to see if that spray actually has an effect on the card. But I've got to wait a little bit. I can see it. It is actually developing into something on this side. This side, not so much. I don't want to do it again, but... I think I should move it a little bit slower, maybe. 
Okay. Let's see what happens there. But certainly already I am seeing it over here. That is awesome. Oh, wow. That's really subtle. Really, really, really subtle. But you can see it. I'll show you in a sec. It develops even more when it's drying. Oh, wow. Like. I'm not sure you can see it, but can you can you see like there's little lines? Over here, not so much, but there are. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it because there's like a, a shadow in the way. But it did kind of start to show up. I think that's really cool. <laughs> is that a golf bag or is that bacon? I can't tell. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the chat and Drek Fletch, is it? Has just sent me a photo that is either bacon or a golf bag. It might just look like bacon because I'm hungry. I don't know. But anyway, bacon or golf bag, you choose. Um, okay, so that's another one. I, I just want to do some more with it. I'm not really happy with it that much. I think I'm going to have to get a spray ink out. One moment, please. I'm walking over here because that's where my spray inks are. Problem with spray ink usually is that it clogs up between uses. So I think I'm going to try and find one that is not shiny. It's the shiny ones that do it. That's quite a nice one. That's a Dilusions one. As, I, as you can tell, I have not used it yet, which is a shame. It is shameful. Right, let's have a look at it. Oh, gosh. I'm opening something new. It's an unboxing, kind of. It's an unwrappering. I can't get it off. Ah. Uh. Use a knife. Use a knife. There we go. Much better. Thank you to whoever said use a knife. It's a stapler. Oh dear. See, this is. I'm. I'm just so blind right now. I cannot. The thing is, the computer's really far away from me. I had to reach across the table, arms outstretched to actually show you things. Okay, right. I'm going to get rid of all this extra ink at the moment. It's, I'm never going to get rid of the extra ink if the surface isn't dried first. I'm not smart. Right, one surface, mostly dry. All right, Oop, I didn't mean to do that. What's that? I just accidentally clicked my um, wireless mouse. I don't know what I did. I'm still here though, right? <laughs> Thank you for exposing yourself. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so stencil down, but not really down, but that's okay. I've got my ink spray, Dilusions After Midnight ink spray. It's a lot like um, purplier than it looks on my screen. It's coming out like blue, but when I'm holding it here in my hand, I'm looking at it and it's purple. Either way, right, I have been told that if you are spraying on a stencil that you're supposed to move quick. And from a great height. Okay, I've moved quickly and from a great height. Yeah, I suppose that's all right. I kind of ruined it for myself though, didn't I? 
I know what I'll do. I'll use this as a stamp on the other side. There we go. That didn't work. Never mind. Oh dear. Now I've made a real big mess, but that's okay. Spraying is different from pooling ink. Very different. So I'm just going to dry that quick. Or not. Or not. Here we go. I'm spraying it. It needs to be a bit runny. There you go. That's better. Oh yeah. Water that puppy down. That's better. Remember these are only backgrounds, although I'm going to be really hard pressed to find something dark enough and bold enough to put against this. This is killer. Okay. Oop. I'm going to also have to like start washing things. Wow, that's bad. Yeah. Anybody want to see a paper towel burst into flames? <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen. You're watching Ink Dry. You are watching Ink Dry online live. You are live on Twitch. Just while we're while we're sitting here drying paper, um, I thought I'd let you know I am I'm leaving like right now, but I'm gonna be back in about two hours and fifteen minutes. So whatever that hour is where you live, that's where that's when I'll be back. So um, for me in England, it is going to be eight o'clock p.m. when I come back. And I'm going to finish doing more backgrounds and then I'm going to show you what happens next if we have time if not I'll be back Saturday because this weekend I am going to finish all 12 of these you're watching paint dry on another channel as well you're double you're, you're double paint dry watching well ink dry and paint dry so wow yeah, I usually watch paint dry on a Thursday night, and I keep forgetting because um, the lady I watch, she's in Canada, and um, nighttime for her is like crazy late for me, so it, I often forget because I'm tired and I need to get some sleep. Right, that also dry. Ooh, parallax distortion, fun. Okay, so let's bring out the other two so that I can show you what we've been up to today. Here they are, three lovely backgrounds. That means I've only got nine more to go. Exciting. 